Hello everybody, Andy here again. Um, I watched a couple of videos the other week actually, one by a person I subscribed to, Tom, TLG847, and one from Rick who is the managing editor of Time Magazine, and they were both uh, talking about the Time Person of the Year. Now I know that's an American publication and I come from the UK, and so I'm coming at it from a slightly different angle, and I suppose it's, uh, although Time is a very respectable magazine over here as well, it's generally dealing with the American way of looking at things. And uh, I just had a look on the, the news this morning, over here in the UK and I see that they've actually said who the time person of the year is and that person is you, uh, me, you, everybody. So I just had a look on their website and I'd uh, picked off the article that they've got, like their cover story. I imagine the, the magazine's out, I've not actually seen it. So what I thought I'd, I'd share with you in case you didn't see it and hadn't seen it, um, some of the things that they actually put in there about it and why they chose you, me, everybody, uh, up here on the, the internet as, as to why they've done it. So. Um, Okay, let's they start off talking about um, the Great Man Theory, which came from a, a Scottish guy called Thomas Carlyle, you might have heard of, and what he was saying, that he believed that it is the few, the powerful and the famous who shape our collective destiny as a species, but as it then goes on to say that that, that theory took a serious beating this year. Um, and it goes on about all the problems that we've had in the world this year, obviously over in the Middle East, whether it be Iran, uh, Iraq, Afghanistan, Israel, Lebanon, we've had global warming, we've had North Korea, you know, Sudan, the whole lot. And uh, But then it goes on, it says, but if you look at 2006 through a different lens, you'll see a different story. One that isn't about conflict or great men, as Thomas Carlyle was talking about. It's a story about community and collaboration on a scale that's never been seen before. It's about the cosmic compendium of knowledge, Wikipedia, and the million channel people's network, YouTube, here we are, and the online metropolis that is MySpace. Um, it's about the many resting power from the few and helping one another for nothing and how that will not only change the world but also change the world the way that the world changes. If that makes sense. I hope I've read that properly. Um, and it sound about it goes on about the the way that the internet and the World Wide Web. Tim Berners Lee, a great Englishman there, who's who started the World Wide Web and the way we've used it in the past. But and then goes on to say about the way that that's changed with this whole new Web 2.0 thing that we're all going about. It says that the new Web's a very different thing. Um, it's a tool for bringing together the small contributions of millions of people and making them matter. And it does actually say this about um, about Americans in particular and the way that you sort of look at the way that Americans are viewed across the world. And it says you can learn more about how Americans live just by looking at the background of the YouTube videos, which is probably very true. It says those rumpled bedrooms and toy room, basement recreation rooms, um, you can learn more from that than you could from a thousand hours of network television, which I think is probably very, very true. We all look at the videos, don't we? And we learn, like, we've got a, a nice bedroom here that you're looking at, and you've got, as you say, the Americans got a lot of basements out there. The backgrounds to people's videos, the, the, the real ones, rather than sort of the blue screen efforts, I suppose. I don't have a blue screen, I have a blue blind over there, but it's not quite the same. But but it's uh, a very valid point, I think. You actually see, as I've said in various videos before, real people. Yeah, we're not um, posing. Some people, yeah, we've got different personas, split personalities and that sort of stuff. But most people are projecting themselves, aren't they? So anyway, then it goes on. Um, we're looking at an explosion of productivity and innovation, and it's just getting started. As the millions of minds that would otherwise have drowned in obscurity get backhauled into the global intellectual economy. Now, which is us, isn't it? And then it says, who are these people? Who has got the time and the energy and that passion? Well, and then it goes on to their concluding sort of bit, really. And the answer is, you do. Me, you, everybody. Uh, and for seizing the reins of the global media, for founding and framing the new digital democracy, for working for nothing and beating the pros at their own game, Time's Person of the Year 2006 is you. Me, you, everybody. So um, and it does go on at the very end. It says, this is an opportunity to build a new kind of international understanding, not politician to politician, great man to great man, but citizen to citizen, person to person. I suppose that's what we began about on this sort of site for a long time. Lots of people talking about the community. I've done various videos about the way that I thought that um, this sort of site, the internet generally, the new internet, if you want to call it that, is changing the way that the world is. And it does actually mention in that, um, article about the other way that other people are having to catch up whether they be outside companies they come into us like time magazine for example put the video up asking for nominations well there you go they think it's that important they've got to ask us now they don't make their own decisions they have to do it by well not have to do it but they're getting suggestions from us and we've obviously influenced 
what they're doing and as it says there we're the many aren't we we're posting our views up here um, I've done it with lots of vi videos we've all done blogs haven't we talking about aspects of whether it be American life English British life or life across the globe everybody's putting their own little perspectives about where they live I know the Renetto video the other week about um, how sort of ch it's changing the world and how we view other people in different countries. I had some problems with that particular video, but that's that's not the point. The actual, the main idea of what he was saying was very true. I think we sit, we make friends across the world, and as I've said, we've got an opportunity here to change. I made a video about um, elections, the way the elections are being changed. I know Tom um, TLG 847. His nomination was for the American voter. Um, so and the way that, you know that that's being changed as well, possibly by YouTube and others. So I think we should all give ourselves a nice big sort of a round of applause, a big pat on the back because um, as I said, the time person of the year for 2006 is you or me or whoever else is watching this video. So I thought I'd just pass that on. I hope that's interesting. I'm, I'm very pleased about that, that it's uh, being recognised that we're actually doing this. Not just on this site, obviously, there's, there's other people as well, but the whole way that it's working. Um, I've got a bit of a passion for this site and the way that it works. It does mention in there they do have a problem with uh, some of the people making their comments in videos that uh, they sort of fear for the way that the uh, the way that things are going by some of the hate comments and things like that we've all been down that road but we all know that the vast majority of people on this site and on the other sites as well uh, are here to have a good time to meet people and to enjoy ourselves I suppose really um, putting serious stuff up here yeah there's lots of uh, rubbish <laughs> call it whatever you want i know rubbish is different to different people but uh, there's a lot of very very good content up here so uh, let's keep doing it and now we know they're actually being recognized now isn't that great anyway thanks for your time i'll see you again soon goodbye